Well, congratulations on this film. This one was so nice and sweet, and but we just don't get to see very much these days, I don't think. No, and, and it's, uh, yeah, I do think it's nice. I think to have a story like this where so much happens, but at the same time, it's all normal stuff. It's all, you know, the kind of obstacles that we face when we leave home for the first time. I think a lot of people are going to relate to this because the immigrant story and the love story, I think those are the things that so many people can relate to. Yeah, and I, I think everyone can in their own way. Like, I felt a huge amount of pressure to not mess it up um, because I thought, this is for Ireland. This is very much for the country that I come from. And I really felt, I could feel quite stressed by that sometimes. But then we did Sundance and the people that came up to me were like parents whose child had gone away to college or people who had no connection to Ireland who had their own immigrant story and it reminded them of their dad's journey or how their mum and dad met or whatever. Everyone related to it in their own way. People who have long distance relationships, you know. So uh, it's very special in that way. And I think really you can only get that with a story that's quite simple like this, you know. Romance is very different these days, isn't it? Yeah, it's all announced. Everything's announced, and um, and everything's casual. Yeah, well, there's something so special about that time, and it got, had to be kind of fun to sort of make believe and pretend during that era, right? It was fun just from a personal standpoint, being able to step on a set with these amazing, these cars that are from a different time, and these amazing buildings. We were in Montreal, which is a beautiful city. Well, congratulations on this film, and congratulations on this year. It's a big one for you. Uh, yeah, there's, yeah, I guess there's a few, yeah, there's a few things coming out that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it's good, but I'm glad you like the film. That's good. Well, and the immigrant story is something that I think a lot of people can relate to as well. Of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm in, we're in Toronto, at the moment and uh, I met up my brother who lives here last night and my other brother who's living in Montreal came out to see us so um, yeah that's not a story which ended in the 50s that's for sure. Long time on a plane from Ireland right? Yes it is but I was with my dad so we were chatting the whole time it was nice. It was oh good. that's yeah, so yeah. nice yeah, yeah that's good. cool. Well obviously you've got the big one Star Wars coming out and I gotta ask I know you probably can't say much about the film so I gotta ask what it's like to have your own action figure. My friend Joshua just sent me a photo of it yesterday. Apparently there's going to be one. I, I didn't know if there's going to be one of my guy or not, but uh, that is pretty cool. I mean, I'm pre I am pretty excited. I, I, I would like to pretend I'm not excited. I'm totally excited about that. See, it's not every day you get to ask someone what it's like to have their own action No, figure. no, They're no. never going to make one of me, so. You never know. You yeah. never know if this interview goes viral. Yeah. It could happen. Come on. <laughs> do something. I mean, we need to, if we're going to make it go viral, though, we should do something. Okay, good. Tell me some, some intimate plot details so J.J. Abrams can shoot me from... Uh, no. Oh, JJ would never shoot you. He's more of a kind of a knife guy. <laughs>